uh, our first startup and presenter, Miklos Gyont, the CEO of Dermos. Please help me. Thank you. So, meet Mike. He's been told oh. he has skin cancer. Thankfully, it is the type that will not metastasize. However, he's been told that within uh, a space of four months, he will need to undergo surgery. Mike, within that time, uh, is worried about the, his tumor growing, and frankly, he would just like the whole affair to be over as soon as possible. Dear audience, Mike represents one in five among you who will have skin cancer within your lifetime. Mike has been told by his dermatologist that he has two options. He could be treated by uh, Dr. Brown, his dermatologist, or go to a specialized surgery offering smaller surgical margins, but both happen in four months' time on average. There could be a third option, which is to have a minimally, minimally invasive treatment within his visit, such as cryotherapy or curettage. It's a quick wear reimbursed procedure. However, for that, Dr. Brown, his dermatologist, would need to know that the cancer is a type that responds to such minimally invasive treatment, and there's some diagnostics needed for that. So she looks at what options there are out there. Advanced microscopy is exciting, but it's beyond her budget. High-frequency ultrasound is also good, but she has trouble interpreting the images. And then she finds this solution, which combines dermoscopy that she's familiar with, with ultrasound that can see in the entire depth of the tumor, rather like seeing the entire iceberg and not just the surface. The AI helps her interpret these images. And these images have been shown to provide 91% detection of these low-risk cancers that allow same-day treatment, allowing someone like Dr. Brown uh, the opportunity to build her practice with these quick, patient-friendly and well-paying procedures. So Dermis, dear investors, has developed this device. It's already in research use and we'd like to launch it into the EU and US markets where three and a half million patients each year could benefit from this same year, uh, sorry, same day treatment. And so we're seeking $10 million Series A funding to get us through the hurdles of entry, including certification, expecting C end of 2024 and the FDA uh, early 2026. Let's help Dr. Brown take better care of her skin cancer patients. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, can you elaborate a little bit about the team? And basically because in the area of dermatology there's so much competition and so many technological solutions to reach the same conclusion. What is the background of the team with regard to the technology and also in the derma world? Okay. Yeah, so we currently have a team of 13 people. Um, many of them are developers, seven to eight. Most of them are from my former ultrasound lab. So we are, have a heavy research basis in ultrasound technology. Three of us have PhDs. Thank you for the presentation. Could you also tell us a little bit more about the stage of development? Like, how have you validated the tool? Are you already certified? Are you in some sales? And well, sales now I see that you are planning for the C certification. But the validation so far, please. Okay, right. So we're very near getting the C certification. All the internal audits uh, have been passed. For the certification of the device, this is a generic ultrasound imaging device. This is the route we are taking. This is easier to get certified. Same will be for the 510K in the FDA. But there is research showing that this can be used, and that's the 91% for detecting these low-risk cancers. We want to provide, in the next few years, further clinical validation of that to get wider clinical acceptance. And can you talk about the profile of customer and a little bit more about the business strategy? You could sell to hospitals, you could sell to clinics. What makes most sense right now? Right, yeah. So what we find, say, in the U.S., that 75% of dermatologists work in small practices of up to five dermatologists uh, without uh, other specialists in there. Um, and um, so these are the um, 
people that we're targeting. Of, of course, we need the validation by the universities, but these small practices are the ones that are happy if they can retain their patients and uh, they can improve their productivity. What runway do you have at the moment? It's up to early next year, Q1. Well, we still have 15 seconds left. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for the presentation.